Hello fine folks of Instagram. One of the most common questions I get asked is how the heck do I take photos of myself, by myself, without anybody else? The process isn't really that complicated and I have a pretty down path so I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I do that today. I have to take a photo for Andy uh, today as part of a campaign so it's a perfect opportunity for me to set up this camera behind the scenes and just show you what I do. So I'm putting the light over on this side of the bed because I do have a window in here and it's kind of more on the other side. So if I want it more evenly lit, I'm trying to balance it out a bit. I'm also going to lower this light down so that the light is coming from more in front of me because I'm going to be sitting or laying down on this bed. And if the light is coming from above, I'm going to get all kinds of weird shadows that I don't want, like under my eyes, under my nose, under my lips. And now I am just gonna put on the outfit that I wanna put on and then I'll be setting up my camera itself. So this is the camera that I shoot with. I take all my own photos with this and this is what I also do my client work with. It is a Sony A7, which is a mirrorless camera. So um, it's very compact. I've got a 35 millimeter lens on it right now. That's just what I like using and I've had this camera for about three years now if you are familiar with the Sony Alpha series you know that this was actually the first one that came out and there are way more in the lineup now but I find this one serves my needs perfectly well still I have some really great lenses um, but if you're taking photos of yourself for social media Instagram whatever you don't need a super fancy camera all you really need is a camera that has Wi-Fi capabilities. You can get a lower end uh, entry level Sony. I recommend the Sony A6000 or the Canon Rebel series. You can find some of those quite cheap. As long as they have Wi-Fi capabilities, you're gonna be able to use it to take your own photos and the quality is just gonna be fine. And this is probably one of my favorite tools ever. It is a travel tripod that I got off of Amazon for like $30, I think like three, four years ago. It's incredibly lightweight and super compact and I have other tripods too but I just honestly prefer to use this one so yeah okay so I've got my camera set up on the tripod there I've got it set up vertically because portrait or vertical orientation is best for Instagram so I always take my photos set up like that so now I'm just gonna make this area look exactly how I want it to look and I'm going to also line up my shot here as well at the same time make sure everything here looks good okay so the next step is I use an app called shutter so this is how you're gonna be able to control your camera from your phone remotely so you can see it on the bottom right there that's the app I use so to connect it to your camera I have an option where it says touch to connect so I can touch that and then there's a part on my camera that I can touch to my phone I can touch the top of my phone to the end it's on the side of my camera and sometimes it connects automatically sometimes it doesn't your camera should have an app on it for remote shutter. Now, depending on what camera you have, you're gonna have to research this. For Sony, it's called Play Memories, and you can go on there and find out what the Wi-Fi network is for your camera. Once you find that out, you can go into the Wi-Fi settings on your phone, find the network and connect to it there, and then open the shutter app again. So my camera, I'm gonna go into menu, and then I'm already over there onto application list. I'm gonna hit that. And then I'm gonna go to Smart Remote Embedded there. And now the Wi-Fi is on standby, so now when I open settings on my phone, Wi-Fi network should pop up. There it is. I'm gonna tap that. I've already got my password entered in here because I've used it so many times. Okay, so now I'm connected to my camera's Wi-Fi. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go into um, the shutter app there and because I connected it manually it's already connected in here so this is super cool so I'm gonna rotate this so then when I look at it 
this is a live preview right here. So I can tell, like, I'm gonna have my phone with me over there on the bed and I can see what it's gonna look like. Now, if you need to adjust any of your camera settings, I haven't figured out how to be able to do it from the app. I believe you still have to do it from your camera. So you adjust it there and it'll translate as well here. Now you can also set up so that it shoots in intervals. So instead of just pressing for a single shot, you can set it to go off like every five seconds, every 10 seconds, whatever you want, really. If you want to review what you've got, you can stop it and then you can go through them right on your phone and take a look through them and see if you've got your shot. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. Um, I don't really want to record the whole thing because I honestly, usually for these I take like 20, 30, sometimes 40 shots. So I don't think you need to see all of that. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, share it with anybody who you think might find it useful. And thanks for watching.